Breast Cancer Awareness Month may be over for another year, but the struggle is ongoing for those who have been diagnosed. In the United States, approximately one in eight women will develop invasive breast cancer over the course of their lifetime. And the out-of-pocket cost for most treatment reaches into the thousands. The online community has come together to help one woman right here in Rapid City. They're helping through the popular crowdfunding site, GoFundMe, to offer both financial and emotional support. Tass Thacker's page already has, is close to the goal of $12,000 in just over a month. Tass makes a living by traveling the world with her husband and presenting educational slideshows of her experiences. So if you can imagine all the lives that she's touched and been there for people from small country villages in China to local Rapid City, um, I'm sure that everybody would want to know what she's going through and be part of um, being able to help. What was nice um, with the GoFundMe program is, um, let's say 10 years ago, they'd say if you could please help this person or family go to this bank and you know deposit into an account. But now you sit on the computer, you see it right away, you, your heart felt right away, you want to do something, you want to react right now, and within 20 seconds um, you can make a donation. After Tassa's diagnosis, she realized how life-changing it can be, saying now that she's more understanding of other people's situations. After I was diagnosed, probably two weeks later, I called two friends of mine who had breast cancer, and I apologized. But I didn't do more for them, because I didn't realize what it was really like. Oh, emotional, and how life-changing it really can be. And I feel like I really have an understanding now and a lot more compassion for what people are going through. Every time I walk in this cancer care unit, it just, you see all these stories, all these people that are dealing with really, really difficult issues. And yeah, we're so fortunate to have this cancer center here in Rapid City. This level of care is amazing. Tass received her last radiation treatment yesterday, and she advises everyone to get regular checkups and mammograms. If you'd like to donate, you can go to GoFundMe.com and search for Tass Thacker.